Bariatric surgery is a safe, proven option for weight loss. We perform our procedures laparoscopically, meaning through smaller incisions on the abdominal wall. This decreases your time in the hospital, produces smaller scars, and helps you recover faster. My motto has always been that uh, there isn't the best procedure for everyone, but there is the best procedure for you. In gastric bypass surgery, the stomach is reduced to a small pouch about the size of a hard-boiled egg and attached to the small intestine. This increases the flow of food to the small intestine, and this physical change also alters gut hormones that influence feelings of hunger and fullness. The expected weight loss on average is about 30 to 40 percent of excess body weight in the first six months after surgery. Long term, about 50 to 60 percent of excess weight is off in about 10 to 15 years after surgery. There are numerous benefits to the gastric bypass. It's simple to perform, relieves acid reflux, and can cure diabetes. The gastric bypass is reversible, however, this does entail certain risks. The cons of gastric bypass include dumping syndrome, nutritional problems if you don't follow medical advice, and the risk for leak, hernia, or ulcer formation. In this operation, we remove part of the stomach, about four-fifths of it, to reduce it to a sleeve. We preserve a valve that's called the pylorus, and that has certain advantages in that it prevents dumping as well as ulceration. The expected weight loss with this operation is about 70% long term. It's the most effective weight loss operation in terms of how much weight a person loses, as well as it's the most effective weight loss operation for diabetics. The operation itself allows a patient to be able to eat more food. The main disadvantages of this operation are patients can be at risk for having vitamin deficiencies, and they have to take special vitamins that might cost more. In addition, if they're not compliant with their diet, they might have excessive diarrhea and foul-smelling stools. The duodenal switch is a more complex operation, and traditionally, the complication rate of this operation has been higher than the sleeve gastrectomy or the gastric bypass. I have been performing this operation for 20 years, and now we have significant expertise with this to be able to offer the operation safely. One of the procedures that we offer is the sleeve gastrectomy in which 80% of your stomach is removed from your body. The operation works by allowing the ingested food to bypass the stomach and get into your small intestines faster. This quick passage of food into your small intestine is what drives the neurohormonal changes that helps with weight loss. The sleeve gastrectomy allows you to lose anywhere from 50 to 70 percent of your excess weight. It is the most commonly performed procedure in the U.S. right now. The benefits of the procedure involves the simplicity uh, of the operation in which uh, it is a relatively quick operation. You can have this operation and not have the fear of uh, developing an ulcer as a result. The other advantage uh, as opposed to a gastric bypass is that there is no dumping syndrome. The disadvantages of the sleep gastrectomy is that the operation does not confer as much weight loss as the other procedures. Another disadvantage is that it is not the most effective therapy for diabetes. Your sleeve stomach may also stretch over time and this may lead to weight regain. Last but not least, even though the sleeve gastrectomy is the least invasive procedure that we perform, it does still have a risk of leak because there is stomach stapling involved. This is an irreversible procedure. In terms of which procedure we will ultimately perform, this would depend upon considering your goals, uh, including the number of uh, pounds that you want to lose or some of the medical conditions that you may want to resolve. That we have to take in hand in hand with uh, your medical condition, your surgical history, uh, along with your, uh, some of your social history, which includes uh, cigarette use, any occupation or, um, or social preferences. Uh, and after we kind of put all that into a pot and uh, we make the best decision which procedure may be the best for you.